Hello everybody and welcome back to the Creature Flesh Workshop. So you are here on part five, I think, of this silicone mask build. It's been a great journey so far. We've done our primary forms, our secondary forms, and you can see those in previous videos. But we are now going to go into the fine detail. This is our final stage of sculpting, it's our tertiary forms. So this is the stuff that really takes the time but it is the thing that makes our mask look hyper-realistic. So let's do less talking and more sculpting. Okay, so I wanna talk a little bit about what I'm doing at the moment. So you may have noticed that I'm using some plastic. So you can use things like cling film, uh, any sort of plastic bags, but this stuff is great for creating fine lines and wrinkles. Uh, and the way that works is we get a tool, a little bit like uh, one of these wax carving tools, uh, and we use uh, quite a pointed one. Now remember from before, if we make our lines in with just the tool, it ends up being quite a harsh uh, trench line. Uh, and that doesn't really look that great in the end. But by placing this over top, what it actually does is when we draw that line across the plastic, the plastic bends into the clay, giving us those kind of beveled edges that we get with a wrinkle. So the best way to achieve that is to warm up the area first. like so. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw a line over the top, just with the tool, just to see, you can see the difference between the two. So by drawing this kind of line over the top, you'll get to see the one above and the one underneath. And you can see the difference between the two. So you can see that the lines underneath are much softer. The line above is actually pretty harsh and doesn't look that great. So this really allows us to get into those small details. Remember we're doing our tertiary forms now. We've done our primary, we've done our secondary. We're now going over those secondary forms with the fine lines and wrinkles that really make it pop. Once we've done our lines and wrinkles, we're then gonna go to our pore texture. That's pretty much the final stage of texturing. But before we do that, we need to get all of our fine lines and wrinkles done on this guy here. And that is gonna take some time. So I think it's time for a time lapse.
This is very exciting because we have just completed our sculpt. We've done all of our primary, secondary, and tertiary forms, and we've done a little bit of tweaks here and there. I think we are pretty much done. I'm probably gonna go back in there and do some final tweaks. It's really, really difficult to know when to stop. But I think we're pretty much there. I'm pretty happy with where we are with it. And I think it's pretty much ready to mold. So that's our next stage. So we're drawing closer and closer to actually having a fully functional silicone monster mask. So please join me next time where we will be carrying on that journey. Thank you.